Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We bring you Friday baseball on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming your way next. All right, first pitch coming up. And for the Cardinals here this afternoon, it's Miles Michaelis. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Tried to hold up on the 0-2. Now a look down to third. And James Kingsley says he won a round. Kicks and deals. Fights it off. He'll see another. Next pitch is outside. The one one is fouled off. And a pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And now the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. The wind and the pitch. Strike two. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Ball one there. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. And that's a strikeout looking. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. And it's fouled away. Two outs. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. There's no score. You're dialed into the show. here in St. Louis and starting this one Chris Flexen Chris what are you looking for from him yeah he's definitely had a struggle so far this year as evidenced by that inflated whip but he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners put his team in a position to win a ball game so we know he's prepared we know this guy is a competitor and we'll watch how he works in this one we go to the bottom of the first and stepping in for the Cardinals Lars Newtbar the pitch there's a strike. And he deals. The other way. And a quick out, number one. Batting second. 
the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Ball Next one. offering down low and in the one dirt. Ball. Two strikes. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. That's and now ball. two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Next pitch Again. is in the dirt. Full count now. Right-hander kicks deals. Struck him out looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. No, oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Here's Nolan Arenado. First pitch, and he just misses. And the righty deals. And delivers oh, outside. Man. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Ball Next three. pitch misses, and it's 3-0. Swing and a miss as he was late. No, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Swing and a miss, three and two now. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Fly ball to right. Jones makes the grab, and that is that. One, two, three, go to Cardinals. We played an inning, no score. Back here at Bush Stadium, and now the veteran catcher, Elias Diaz. Elias Diaz. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And that one fouled off. The 0-1. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. That Whoa, misses the zone. Down. It's a ball and two strikes. In the dirt, and the count's even at two. The pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. On the corner for a strike. 0-1. The wind of the pitch. And strike two. Second inning here, no score. Got him. Now two out. 
Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Nolan Jones stands in now and watches strike one. The pitch. Bounced out to short. Tosses to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Now up the Cardinals number four hitter, Wilson Contreras. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller good at framing but it's that big arm that really stands out and that one just misses a ball and no strikes when you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate it really shuts down the running game next offering is in for a strike well I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer when you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm you really have to change your approach can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out maybe get a little bigger lead be aggressive on the secondary but this type of guy shuts the running game down towards right center field it falls in and that's a base hit so a man on base to start the inning here's Tyler O'Neill he is quite an athlete I mean you look around the other sports basketball football you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Profar grabs it on the run. That exists. No left field. Jordan Walker. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. First offering, and it just misses. And there's a ball. Contreras leads off first with one away. Pitch misses. Three balls, no strikes. There's a strike. High fly ball out to center field. Doyle has this one sized up. Two away down. That is seven. The shortstop. Tommy Edmond. And here comes Tommy Edmond. And fouled off. Kicks and fires. Just missed. Fouled off to the right. And here it comes. Jumps at the wall, and he brings it back. So one left for the Cardinals. We'll move to the third with no score. 
Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And now here's a Lowry's Montero. Montero. The wind of the pitch. Montero, 24 years old. And he's usually a first baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. Next offering is in for a strike. Some people say that first baseman kind of have the day off regularly because they don't run around a whole lot. But when you think about it, they are involved in just about every single play. And there's a lot of stress that gets put on their legs. So a well-deserved day at the DH spot for him. Just misses with that one. strikes and he knew it well just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there and I don't think he was taking it thinking it might be a called ball or anything I just think he was flat out frozen did not expect that location in my opinion Michael Tolia in the box with one away as he takes ball one Next pitch is downstairs. Chris, when you take in a stadium, I think one of the things that I always contemplate is where are you? And in St. Louis, Bush Stadium, you know exactly where you are with the arch in the background. They mow it into the lawn, the gateway arch. Basically, it goes from line to line and out towards center field, and then the retired numbers, the championship banners. I mean, it really shows off the history of this proud franchise. Yeah, Boog, and this city is always just covered in red, especially during the baseball season. But they've added that ballpark village out there in left center field. Very accessible to come into this city, stay downtown, get to the ballpark, and take in a game in a great setting. The 2-2. Okay. Top of the third, no score. This to third. Arenado to first. In time. Two up, two down. The center field, number nine. Brenton Doyle. Next for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And a foul ball. He's so solid calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Way high. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Rockies, and we're still knotted at zero. Welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Taylor Motter. The second baseman. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a a ton of baseball as a kid. There's a strike. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. That misses, and the count even one and one. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Clips the corner. One and two. The next pitch misses, and it's two and two. That's a little bit low. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. The kick, the three two. Gets a piece and stays alive. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Payoff pitch. And 
that one is lifted in the air. Jones pulls it down, and there's one down. Batting the this is Dylan Carlson. And first offering is fouled off. A line to kick the pitch. Fouled off. He was late. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. So the lineup flips over at the play. Lars Newtbar. First pitch, not close. Left hand batter waits. And there's a foul ball. One one now. That one hooked foul. And the pitch. Jones moving under this one leaps at the wall and he's got it and down in order go the Cardinals and we are still scoreless start of the fourth now it's the switch hitting outfielder Jerickson Profar Jerickson Profar The pitch. That nope. one misses. One and oh. For all these Rockies just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. And now one and two. Next one misses two and two. And now it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Tovar in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. The Rockies hitless so far in the game. That misses, and now 2-0. Oh. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. In the air, foul off first. Goldie makes the play, and there's one down. Ryan. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Possibly thinking about home run number 100 here. He's just one shy of that milestone. Runner, Runner on the move. And first offering is fouled off. Profar, the base runner at first with one out. Runner goes again. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Carlson settles underneath it. He's got it. There's two away.
And now it's Elias Diaz. Went down on strikes his first time through. In there for strike one. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Way back there. And that one is going to go. He circles the bases. And the Rockies jump in front. It's 2-0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Base is empty with two away. Now, Brendan Rodgers. And the one. first pitch misses for ball one. Yep, one and oh. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Next offering in the dirt. It's two and two. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Carlson makes the grab and that'll end the inning. But the Rocks bring in two on this big fly. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back. John Chami and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Paul Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt. Flexen back to work. Pitches in there. Strike one. That one missing inside. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. drive and that's a base hit out of the center field hitting is really easy for some guys one thing that I can see already his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time and guys like that they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane and even when you don't get it great it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder Here's Nolan Arenado. Glide out his first time. And that one fouled off. Oh, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. Out towards left center. Doyle under it. Squeezes it, and there's one away. Now battling the catcher, Wilson. John Barrera. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. And he's already singled in this game. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. That one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Good eye right there. Yeah, 
Next offering is down low. Two and one. At the belt and fires. Run around the goal. Next offering is foul back. And now two and two. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Everything came now, together for him. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. One down. Tyler O'Neill digs in now. In the dirt. Tag safe. And a wild pitch, and both runners are in scoring position. With two on and one out, you're just hoping you can get a double play ball to get yourself out of the inning. But now you've really got some work to do. You need a big strikeout here. Goldie at third. Contreras over at second with one down. Out to short. And he'll just eat it. That's an infield single. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. And now Jordan Walker. First pitch doesn't find the zone. So all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. One out. Runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. This one high in the air to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out. Number two. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, yeah, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. So first and second with two outs. Tommy Edmond next up for the Cardinals. 0 for 1 with a fly out. He swings and fouls one off. Liner makes the catch inning over they get a run on three hits no errors and two men left on on to the top of the fifth we go it's the Rockies two and the Cardinals one back here at the ballpark ready now for the fifth inning now here's Nolan Jones and the right hater back to work and that skips in the dirt. That one missed. Two balls, one strike. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Elauri's Montero will hit next. Not looking his first time up. That's in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Softly hit to third. Fires over to first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Deceptive slider right there, stayed the in the tunnel a long time. The got that hitter out front, rolled over Michael it, put it on the ground. Tolia. Here's Michael Tolia, grounded out his first time. Yeah. 
That's in there. That's strike one. Not what he's looking for there in the OO Cal. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. On the ground to the left. Now the throw to first on the run. That's out number three. Rockies are down quietly as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Taylor Motter. Here comes a pitch. On the inside corner for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Matt Cook getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Suter, a left-hander, also throwing. The pitch. Line drive. Profar puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Number three, Dylan. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Dylan Carlson. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. And there's the strike. I got a ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. One and two. Two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Lars Newtbar next up for the Cardinals. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. In there, and it's 0-1. 0-1. Oh, and oh, and there's the strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Ball. Next offering is down low. One ball, two strikes. Kicks and deals. Bows it off, still one and two. Riding to the plate. Just nope. missed the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And now the count filled up three and two. Paul Goldschmidt waits on deck. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. They're down 2-1. to one. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. So in now for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. The pitch. And that one missing low. Counts one and That's the third, and it goes just foul. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that's through there for a strike. Smoked in the left, base hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now batting Jerickson Profar. He's 0 for 1. Here we go, He's going. Rudder takes off on the ground. And that squirts through. 
Doyle rounds third, headed for the plate. The relay throw. Dives in, beats the tag. He scores. It's 3 1. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. That one the other way. Base hit right field. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Oliver Marmol towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change here. Miles Michaelis out of the game, and he kept him in it even though he's in line for the loss right now. New arm when we come back. Andre Palante comes on now. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. Next to hit for the Rockies, Ryan McMahon. Going one. With all these Rockies really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. And he deals. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Profar around third. One run is in. Tovar coming home. He'll score as well, and they lead by four. Nicely done. Brings home two. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. He's already homered in this game. And that's in there for strike one. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. That one Whoa, outside. One ball, one strike. Close one. Doesn't get the call. Now two balls and a strike. Activity in the bullpen. James Nail, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Gallegos getting cranked up as well. The next offering misses. Ball three. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Ground ball, Goldie. Steps on first for the out. The second base, Brendan Rogers. Brendan Rogers digging in for the Rockies. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First offering misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. Just off the outside edge. Two and old to Cal. Here it comes. Now a check swing, but he held up. That one finds the zone. And now three balls and a strike. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Runners on the corners with one gone, and now the right fielder Nolan Jones. Come on, turn the 
Not what even a... close there. Ball one. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. you got to look for something up in the zone. At worst-case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. That one a little bit high, and the count is 2-0. Oh. No, Runners are at the corners, one away. And a big swing and a miss. Next offering is downstairs. And the right hander deals. And it's filled up. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. The pitch. And there's ball four. And Lowry's Montero digging in for the Rockies. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. One run across, and it's off the wall. The run scores all the way from first. It's 8-1. Waste no time there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. The pitcher on here, James Nail. He last pitched two days ago. Michael Tolia digging in for the Rockies. This to center field. That gets down for a hit. Carlson to third. He's oh. in there. Two consecutive no, base no, no. hits for these guys the here. Field. Just a cookie down Went the field. middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Brenton Doyle now at the plate. And the first ball pitch misses for ball one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's the sinker at the knees for a strike. On the ground, two ball. Over to Edmund. What a double play that was. Inning over. So in the end, ten men come to the plate. Six of them come around to score. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rockies eight and the Cardinals one. Back here in St. Louis, bottom of the sixth inning. Now up for St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Arenado measures six feet, two inches, 31 years old, and he won the silver slugger at his position in the National League last year. And there's the strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. And ball one. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. In there. And so now one and two. One ball, two strikes. And a ball <laughs> evens the count. Got 
comes a 2 2. In the air on the infield, and they get Arenado for the out. Two down. The catcher, number 40, Wilson. John Contreras. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Now a screamer into the outfield. Pulls it in on the run. And that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. It's still an eight, one ball game. Top of inning number seven. Here's the Rockies leadoff hitter, Jerickson Profar. Jerickson Profar. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. Counts one and oh. Swing and a miss. One ball, and a count back. one and one. Down the right field line and a base hit. Now batter. The short and the batter will be the shortstop. Ezekiel Tovar. One for three. Nope. And takes low for ball one. And the righty deals. Way out front for strike two. Well, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Next pitch misses way outside. Right-handed reliever. That one to first. To second, there's one. And it's a double play. The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. Next for Colorado, Ryan McMahon. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not in time, it's a double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. So two down, Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. He's already homered here in this one. Line drive. Oh, he dropped it. Picks himself up an RBI. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Runner at first with two away. Brendan Rodgers digging in for the Rockies. That one called a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Diaz leads off first with two down to the inning. And down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. So they get one run, three hits, no errors, and one man left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Rockies nine and the Cardinals one.
We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Matt Cook. And you know, bullpen right, guys right, can please, struggle please. sometimes when they're now, called upon please, with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. The wind of the pitch. O'Neill in yep, now. Out. Takes ball one off the plate. Movement in the bullpen. Daniel Bard, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. And the 1 0 misses low. Now 3 and 0. Oh, so definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And the 3 1. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Kicks and fires. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Walker. Well, the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for ball. two. First pitch, just misses. Runner at first with no outs here. Nice. And there's a strike. I got one ball, one strike. To first, maybe a two ball. Tolia over to second, now to first, and it's a double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Two outs, base is empty. Tommy Edmond at the plate. And there's a ball. The 1 0. Bounce to the right side. Sends it to Tolia. And they get Edmund for the out. Inning over. Back here in St. Louis, digging in, Nolan Jones. Nolan Jones. And here it comes. He was late there, strike oh one. Fought off foul. Oh, and two now. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Next to hit, Elauri's Montero. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Sends it across oh. to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. The bat. The first base. Michael Tolia. Two outs, base is empty. Michael Tolia, the next to hit. And yeah, that's outside. Next pitch misses inside. Now 2-0. And that's in for a strike. A 
On the ground, out to short. Fires to first on the run. Out number three. One, two, three, go the Rockies. But they still hold a commanding 9-1 lead. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now got, it's the second eight, baseman, eight, Taylor Motter. The second baseman. Taylor Motter. The wind and the pitch. That misses. Ball one. Now one and one. One and one. The pitch. Tap in the zone, and it's called a strike. One ball, two strikes. Right side, Jones coming on. Pulls it in for the out. The, the center, center fielder, fielder number, number three. three. And now the center fielder, Dylan Carlson, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. That clips the corner. That one finds the zone, and that is strike two. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Next pitch has popped up. McMahon pulls that one down, and there's two away. The right fielder, number 21. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Lars Newtbar. Next up for the Cardinals. In there for strike one. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Nope. Misses. It's One a ball, ball and two strikes. two strikes. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much. Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. Redbirds down quietly. They trail it big. It's 9-1. Back here at Bush Stadium, here's the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. Brenton Doyle. Nail, back to work. There's a strike. All one's the count. Wings through that. No ball, two strikes. That it's just high, misses, and the count is one and two. Just oh, off the man. inside edge. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And a liner around into right center for a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Absolutely smoked that baseball. What a swing. Sent it out way faster than it came in, of course. 113 off the bat. And no matter where you hit it at that speed, it's tough to make a play on. Next to hit for the Rockies, Jerickson Profar. That one's in there, 0 and 1.
Doyle leads off second with nobody out. Next pitch is downstairs. 1 0. Outside. pitch that's to third slings it across now one gone in the ninth the bat the short shot Ezekiel Tovar now the number two hitter Ezekiel Tovar and that is in for a strike it's 0-1 And ball one. One out and a runner at second. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Doyle around third. He'll score easily. It's 10 1. Now around second, going for third. Modder with a relay throw. The tag, and he's out trying for three. But they do get a run. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball, and a guy's worked so hard to get around first, to get around second, and to get thrown out at third. Man, you just feel bad for him. On top of that, he was already in scoring position, so you think about how it kind of hurts the team as well. McMahon in the box now. No balls and a strike. Off the mark there, and it's a ball and a strike. And a good eye there. Just missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Three, two. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. The throw is still in time. And they do get the third out. The inning is over. So it's one run on two base hits. No errors, and nobody left on. 2-3-4 set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's 10, and the Cardinals won. Leading up. Welcome Cardinals. back. Bottom nine, the and now the first hit. baseman, Paul yeah. Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt. And the pitch. Ball nope. one, no strikes. Count one and oh. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. Here's a rocket out to left. Reaching for it, makes the catch. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there, nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Arenado, the next to hit, takes outside. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. In the air, right field. Jones under it. He's got it, and there's two away. 
the bat, the, the catcher, the catcher. Wilson. Wilson. Next to hit, Contreras. Wilson Contreras. There's a strike. Two outs. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Popped in the air. Left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. So the inning is still alive with Tyler O'Neill coming to the dish. Here's the Cardinal DH. Tyler O'Neill. One for two. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and deals. Upstairs. Two balls, no strike. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. There's the strike. And now one strike away. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Doyle on his way over. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Rockies take this one in a blowout. Key to this game was that huge sixth inning. They jumped all over the opposing pitching, and it was like they knew what was coming. And that kind of confidence just takes a team to the finish line, and that's what they did. They got the win in this game. 10-1, the final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.